welcome to the Nestle video series provided by Rain Group. My name is David Torres, and in today's video, I'll be demonstrating the process of creating a vendor bill and then making a bill payment. Let's get started. In my last video, I created a purchase order for 10 designer chairs from Cooper's Office Furniture, and then I created an item receipt relating to that transaction. I'm going to pull up that purchase order by typing the PO number in the global search bar. If I don't have my PO number on hand, I could go to Vendors, Purchases, Enter Purchase Orders, and click on List, and it would be listed there. It would also be listed under my Purchase Orders to Bill. I'm going to open my Purchase Order, and here we can see it has a status of Pending Bill. Under my Item Information, I can see that 10 have been received and 0 have been billed. My goal is to have 10 billed and to pay that bill off. To create the bill, I can click on this Bill button. And here we can see in my form all information relating to my bill. And most of this information is pulled from that original order. I can go in and tweak some fields if I'd like, such as my terms. These are the discount terms that apply to my bill. It's currently net 30, which means my due date is in 30 days. If I change it to net 60, my due date will change by 30 days. If I change it to 2% 10 net 30, this means my due date is in 30 days. But if I pay within 10 days, then I receive a 2% discount. I'll go ahead and change that to net 30. And down here in my item sub tab, I can see my 10 designer chairs. I can click save. And now my bill has a status of open. Once I'm ready to make the payment, I can click on make payment. And this is all information relating to my bill payment, such as my accounts, my balance, my payee, my amount. And over here in this check number field, it says to print. This is because this to be printed checkbox is currently checked, which will take it to a queue of checks to print. If I uncheck this, NetSuite will generate a check number for me. I'll leave this checked. And if I want to pay via ACH, I could check on this to ACH checkbox up here. Down here, I can see what this payment applies to. It currently applies to the bill which I created it from but I could also make it apply to multiple bills and also apply credits that I have. I'll go ahead and pay two bills off with this payment and I'll click save. Now my bill payment has been created and now I'm ready to print my checks. I'm going to go to my print checks page which I created a shortcut for and over here I can select my account related to my payment which is my checking account. So I'll check my checking account and here we can see my two checks and if I want to print them off I can mark them and click on print. So if I open my original purchase order I can see that I have received 10 shares and I have billed 10 shares and under my related transactions I can see it has been paid in full. Thank you for watching this video provided by Rain Group. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about NetSuite, feel free to contact us.